You've heard about the anti-Semitic attack by two black Hebrew Israelites in New Jersey in December 2019. You're wondering why. You want to understand why did David Anderson and Francine Graham murder four people? Why did this couple specifically target Jewish Americans? Well, I'm here to break it down. My name is Vocab Malone. I'm a researcher who specializes in what is called the Hebrew Israelite community. If you want to understand the Jersey City shootings, give me 13 minutes and I'll give you five reasons. You definitely need to hear the last three. I guarantee you don't know them. Now, I'm going to show you the five ways Anderson's beliefs connect directly to his horrendous actions. These are the five reasons for David Anderson's wicked murders. Number one. Black Hebrew Israelites teach that modern day Jews are imposters. Those who call themselves Hebrew Israelites claim to be physical descendants of ancient Israelites. That's not all. Black Hebrew Israelites teach that modern day Jews are frauds who stole the heritage of the true Jews themselves. This unfounded conspiracy theory causes black Hebrew Israelites to believe they are victims of the largest case of identity theft in history. This imagined crime produces intense feelings of hostility towards modern day Jews. These feelings manifest in harassment, such as two publicized cases in London earlier this year, or physical aggression, such as when a black Hebrew Israelite who goes by the name Elijah Israel threatened to stab two Jewish men with a knife as they left the Florida synagogue in October. Elijah Israel said he considered himself to be, quote, a real Jew, not like these fake Jews, those guys stealing money from us, end quote. Judging from sentiments left online, Jersey shooter David Anderson thought the exact same way Jews deserve punishment for stealing his heritage. Number two. Black Hebrew Israelites teach that God hates certain people based strictly on their ethnic background. Before I explain the second reason Jersey shooter David Anderson did what he did, you need to understand something. These next four reasons are not universally held by all Black Hebrew Israelites. Reason number one is something all the various groups within the movement believe, namely that Jews are usurpers. But these next reasons are generally held by what are called the One West Hebrew Israelites. One West Hebrew Israelites are composed of multiple factions, but all trace their ideology back to a school in Harlem, New York, founded in 1969. Examples of the One West groups or camps are IUIC, ISUPK, ISBHPK, ISOC, GOCC, AOC, AOI, LOI, FWOI, Sakari, THUG, GMS, and the ICGJC. ICGJC, which stands for the Israelite Church of God and Jesus Christ, is the group or camp with which both David Anderson and Francine Graham were affiliated. If you zoom in close on the security camera footage, of the killers as they walked into the market, you'll notice Anderson is wearing his Hebrew Israelite garments during the killing spree, perhaps even those of the ICGJC. This was actually pointed out to me by a former member of the ICGJC. Thank you, Brother Miguel, for that one. Now with that caveat, the second reason why Jersey shooter David Anderson did what he did is that he believed God hates certain people based strictly on their ethnic background. Anderson made this reason explicit with a list of grievances and handwritten notes he left behind. Quote, I do this because my creator makes me do this and I hate who he hates. End quote. I learned of this belief in my first street encounter with a young black Hebrew Israelite. I remember telling the man, your theology is racist. He responded, that's because God is racist. Anderson believed what almost every single One West Hebrew Israelite group or camp believes. God hates certain people based strictly on their race. You'll hear more details on this in number five. But for now, number three. The black Hebrew Israelites teach the doctrine of reincarnation. Reincarnation is the belief, usually associated with Eastern religions, that after you die, you return in another body. Now, 
All the traditional sources of Judaism and Christianity reject reincarnation, whether it be the Hebrew scriptures, the Mishnah, the Talmud, or the 13 articles, reincarnation is nowhere to be found. In the New Testament, many passages directly rule it out. For example, Luke 23, 43, John 14, 10, Hebrews 9, 27, and multiple verses in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Yet, almost all Hebrew Israelite groups who descend from one west hold to reincarnation. An elderly Hebrew Israelite man named Ariah is said to be the Apostle John reincarnated. Ariah is in the upper leadership of the school which David Anderson was once linked with, the Israelite Church of God and Jesus Christ. David Anderson almost certainly walked into the J.C. Kosher supermarket knowing he would die, but also believing that he would return again soon in another Hebrew Israelite body. Reason number four, ethnic universalism. Now, did you catch the last thing I said? I said Hebrew Israelite body. That's key within the One West doctrine of humanity and the One West doctrine of salvation. The kind of Hebrew Israelite David Anderson was is the kind who believes you've got to be a Hebrew Israelite to even be saved. One Westers like David Anderson and the ICGJC camp he attended believe you need to be on their 12 tribes chart to achieve salvation but that if you are of another nation or people group who is not on the chart, you cannot be saved at all. We'll revisit this one in the next point. But here's the kicker. One West Hebrew Israelites, like David Anderson and his ICGJC teachers, hold that all supposed Hebrew Israelites will be saved. That's right. No matter what any given supposed Hebrew Israelite does or doesn't do in this life, they will still be ultimately granted salvation and enjoy the benefits of an everlasting kingdom with the other more observant Hebrew Israelites. This means, though, that even non-observant Hebrew Israelites, like serial killer Samuel Little, serial rapist Bill Cosby, serial baby killer Gosnell, and the guy who killed Tupac, will all be enjoying the kingdom of God along with observant Hebrew Israelites. So, the man who murdered Martin Luther King Jr. will be a slave in the kingdom of God because he is white. But the man who murdered Martin Luther King Jr.'s mother, Marcus Chenault, will own slaves in the kingdom of God because he is a black Hebrew Israelite. Now, sure, most proponents of One West style Hebrew Israelism say that the aforementioned folks will enjoy less privilege and power in the kingdom. But still, think about it. The 21 Egyptian Copt Christians martyred on the beach by ISIS are the wrong ethnicity to live in the kingdom of God as anything but slaves, while gentlemen like Suge Knight, R. Kelly, and O.J. Simpson get to hang out with Moses, Jesus, and Paul just because Suge, O.J., and R. Kelly are supposedly of the right bloodline. So, at the forefront of David Anderson's mind was the deluded notion that he will experience eternal salvation simply because he happened to be born into the right people group, that of the Hebrew Israelites. Sad thing is, there's no evidence at all that most adherents of the ideas of Hebrew Israelism are actually descendants of Hebraic or Semitic peoples. Even if they were, the testimony of the Bible has never been the Israelites were saved strictly by virtue of being Israelites, especially when they murdered four or five people like David Anderson. Reason number five, black Hebrew Israelites teach an eschatology of revenge and slaughter. Did you know David Anderson planned to murder many more people than he did? His aim was to do even more damage an active pipe bomb was discovered on the scene, and its primary target may have been the 50 Jewish children at a nearby yeshiva school. But here's what's shocking. The style of black Hebrew Israelism Anderson followed teaches that there will be an end-time slaughter, much worse, in which black Jesus, black angels, and the black Hebrew Israelites themselves will be murdering everyone who is not in their religion, those who are not of the right race. And this is reason number five for why Jersey shooter David Anderson went on a rampage that tragic day. His teachers at the ICGJC 
taught him that when Shai returns, he will grant the black Hebrew Israelites superpowers. These superpowers will enable members of the cult to destroy all enemies. Remember, their enemies are based on ethnicity and nothing else. Now, many believe they will literally fly through the air in bulletproof bodies, shooting laser beams from their eyes to vaporize all the Indian, Arab, Asian, and Caucasian people they see. Other black Hebrew Israelites believe they will also use more traditional weapons as well. And some even believe that they are supposed to initiate this ethnic purge in the here and now. To the One West Hebrew Israelite leaders watching this video, thinking maybe I'm being unfair, because I know you don't teach to go out and enact violence right now, but to obey the laws of the land for now, and that the time will come for you to rise up and do away with Esau and all the other non-elect peoples. Let me say this. When you glamorize, fantasize, and fetishize acts of violence against Jews and other peoples, don't be surprised when it gets actualized. Some of your disgruntled adherents are simply tired of waiting and are ready to take matters into their own hands. For example, a Facebook page with over 2,700 followers called Black Hebrew Israelites posted this on December 11th. Hebrew Israelites attack fake Jews. It must be the end times. Usually when the end is near, our people start to rise up and go after the real enemy. This was posted along with a link to the Jersey City shooting. The specific group Anderson was a part of, the ICGJC, prophesied this climactic event was going to happen in 1999. Other factions of Black Hebrew Israelites believe this is the year, as they see 2019 as the final year and a 400-year prophecy which began in 1619. Either way, we know Anderson's brand of Hebrew Israelism embraces an eschatology of racial revenge, an end times view of ethnic slaughter. In short, genocide against all peoples not deemed Hebrew Israelites. And ironically, the Hebrew Israelites of Anderson's ilk believe that modern day Jews are literally number one on the Most High God's hit list. And that is why David Anderson and Francine Graham did what they did on that fateful day. Thank you for watching today. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and answer this question in the comments below. Do you agree these five beliefs influence the actions of David Anderson and Francine Graham? Explain, please, why you think that ideas have consequences. If not, Please explain why you think their actions were not connected to the doctrines of the Black Hebrew Israelites. For Street Apologist Live, I'm Vocab Alone, out.